Continuing on with the DNP3 certification test procedures, this video steps you through the data link tests and shows you how to create files that prove that your device passed the certification tests. Until you become more familiar with the test process, I suggest you run all tests with verbose mode set to true. This setting provides more user feedback during the testing operation. The last two steps before we're actually ready to start are one, to make sure you're in master simulation mode by clicking on the M target in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, and two, you need to enter the IP address of the device we're testing since we are in DMP3 LAN WAN protocol. If you were in serial protocol, this display would be replaced with COM port numbers to allow you to select the correct communication port uh, for connection to your device. Okay, we're finally ready to go. In order to run a test, you can see in the upper part of the DNP certification view is a list of all the tests written by the DNP users group. Uh, the section numbers up here correspond to the section numbers in the test procedure, and any section can be expanded to provide complete details of actually what's written in those test procedures. In order to select a test, all you need to do is click on the test level and select this send once button. In this case I selected link layer which is section 6 so by starting the ASE 2000 will perform all tests in section 6. If I wanted to only do the tests in section 6.3 I would click here in section 6.3. But as I said, we're going to perform the entire link layer tests. So I will select section 6 and start. Targets come up here corresponding to questions in the DMP certification procedures that tell you to perform a certain action, such as cycle power to the device under test. When power has been cycled, press OK and we can continue. During the testing process, you can see the test being performed over here. A green check mark indicates that the tests have completed successfully. There are two questions I want to note, but I'll return to later. And that's if the device can generate request link status, cause it to do so. And if the device can generate test link status cause it to do so. So I've been comment on that, we'll skip over those and continue. You notice that on the left I stated that the uh, green check marks say the device uh, passed the test and a red X saying the device has failed the test. Over on the right side you see all the messages going back and forth between the test set which is doing the testing as a master and the device which is responding as an outstation. Uh, we'll get back to those in a little bit later as soon as the data link tests are complete. Which should be soon. Okay we've now finished the, the tests before reviewing the test results there are two things we should do and that's save this information to disk. There are two files to save. The first one we save by selecting file export and DNP certification test results. For this purpose I created a folder called DNP on my hard drive and I'm saving it out to a file called datalink.xml. Test results are saved as XML files. 
And the other thing we need to export are the communication messages, which is the, uh, the data going back and forth between the test uh, set and your device to be tested. These are saved as MSGX files, and I'm going to save those in the same place. An MSGX file is a file that's interpreted by the ASC 2000. MSGX files can be emailed to anyone in the world who happens to have an ASC 2000 test set for viewing. And the ASC 2000 test set for this purpose is free. There's no charge to download or install a test set for the purpose of viewing message files. The next video will show you how to review and interpret the test results.